side, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar's Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2016, where I'm showing you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, it is coming up quickly, and there's only a few more days. And I see that today that it says Skillet Caramel Apple Pie. Now, this is a great thing to get somebody for the holidays. Wow, y'all, this is heavy. This is a cast iron skillet, and this just makes a great gift because there's so many things that you can do in it. And today, I'm going to show you how to make an apple pie in an iron skillet. Up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2016, I'll be right back. It also makes a great protection tool, too. Be right back. Welcome back. Making my skillet apple pie is really simple and I'm using a cheater's way and I'm using a puff pastry sheet today. You can certainly use your own kind of concoction, maybe a pie shell that you make your own. But what I'm doing is taking a floured area and a floured rolling pin and I'm going to roll it out because we're going to have to cover that skillet. So I'm going to just roll out some of this puff pastry so I'll check back with you in just a moment. Next up, chop up six Granny Smith apples. Now these are going to be nice and tart in your actual apple pie in the skillet so let me chop up these and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Next up, you're going to take your sliced apples and add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour to them and one teaspoon of cinnamon to them there we go, right on into the bowl, and a half teaspoon of nutmeg. And you could probably use some allspice or whatever kind of apple pie spice that you like. So let me toss these up and set these aside and check back with you in just a moment. Next up in your skillet, you're going to take one third cup of sugar and one cup of water and bring this up to a boil so it has bubbles. So let me do that and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that you got bubbles forming, you're going to turn it down to kind of low and you're going to cook it for about 10 minutes until it turns kind of like a caramel color without stirring it. But keep your eye on it. Don't go anywhere. Don't burn down your trailer. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and it's got a nice caramel color. And I'm going to carefully add the apples here so I don't splash myself because this is really hot. There we go. Make sure you get all the spices that could have traveled to the bottom. And we are just going to mix this around in this skillet and being very careful for about a minute or two. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now I'm just going to take the puff pastry and just seal the top of it. And you could use a cookie cutter and make little shapes and leaves on top here. But I'm just going to work with mine here and just make it real pretty. So let me get this started and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I sealed all the edges with the actual crust of the puff pastry and I had some pieces left over. You could make pretty pieces. I just stuck them up on top. I took an egg yolk and two tablespoons of milk and we're just going to brush the top here. And this is just going to make a nice kind of golden color to the top of our actual pie here. And I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees. And this is probably going to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes or maybe a little bit longer depending how long um, 
it needs to bake because of your apples because you cut them up yourself and all that good stuff so let me finish this and I'll check back with you in just a moment okay now pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes keep your eye on it and you might need a baking pan underneath of it if it keeps overflowing or something like that so set your timer And there you have it, my skillet apple pie. It sure does look pretty in the skillet, especially up on the dinner table. And it's one of those that you scoop out, and it's certainly good with some whipped cream or some maybe ice cream. Or look at that crust. It's nice and golden and crunchy, and it has the apples. And wow, I smell the cinnamon and the nutmeg, and I just can't wait to try this. And the caramel sauce and let me see how it tastes. Mmm. Wow. That uh, is very home style. Doesn't taste like it came out of a box either. And the tartness of the apples and the cinnamon and that nutmeg and it tastes just like the holidays and my trailer smells just great too. And Wow, people will be really surprised and you can include this recipe with a skillet and people can make it themselves and it just is a great one around the holidays. I hope you get a chance to make my skillet apple pie and if you do, send me pictures at jolinesugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me. I'm all over the web, Instagram and Facebook and um, I got this calendar at trailerparkchristmas.com and you can follow along because I see tomorrow it's something that's very trailer park and that is tuna noodle casserole. That is a tradition and that is just a special one. So you tune in for that. Hit that big old subscribe button. Make sure the notification bell is on so you know when I upload. And I just love spending the holidays with you. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that big tornado.